Hello, and thank you for your interest in performing your own miniaturization test. To get started, unpack the microscope and install the software that came with it. Once that's done, plug in the microscope to an available USB slot on your computer and start up the software. The first thing we'll need to do is get the microscope focused properly. The best way I've found to do this is to place the microscope lens side down on your leg, pressing with about the same amount of pressure as you'd use on your head. Then turn the focus knob until the image is sharp. This is important because blurry photos are no good to you or anyone. Once you've got the microscope set up properly, we can begin testing the miniaturization of your hair. As you can see on this diagram, we're going to take readings of eight spots on your head. A, B, and C are all about a half inch in from the hairline. D, E, and F are approximately an inch behind A, B, and C. G is right at the very top of your head and H is on the crown. So to start out, let's take a reading of location A. If you don't see very much scalp, just a lot of mangled hair like you see here, you might need to spread your hair apart to get a better view. Once you've got a good view on the microscope, press the button that says click on the end of it. This will pop up a window showing the photo you've taken. In the upper left corner of that window, click file and then save as. Save the photo somewhere on your computer where you'll be able to find it and save it as letter A. If you want to take multiple photos of the same location, just save them as photos A1, A2, A3, etc. Then simply repeat for every location on the head. You want to repeat this same test about every six months to a year. That way you can look back every time and see if you notice any change from test to test. This is a perfect way to see if that new cream or shampoo or minoxidil, finasteride, or any device that you're using to regrow your hair is working or not. Getting a baseline is very important to find out where your balding is going and how the treatments are working. This puts scientific measurements into the diagnosis, and if you don't have miniaturization greater than 20% in any one area, it may mean that you're not balding at all. Additionally, if you're interested in getting a professional opinion, you can always upload the photos to our forum at baldingforum.com. There are instructions there for uploading photos on the site in the Read Here First section, and once you have photos up in your own gallery, you can message doctors on the site and ask them to evaluate your results or compare your results with others who are interested in mapping their hair density. Thanks for watching the video and good luck with your miniaturization test.